Assalamualaikum. Welcome to my channel Tak Tak with Shahid. Today we will discuss about uh, column design. It's a minimum reinforcement and uh, arrangement of reinforcement. Okay, we will start with the. Uh, we will first draw one column. Design. We will draw one column, suppose 450 mm by 450 mm. First of all, we will discuss about its uh, uh, reinforcement requirements. If we will talk about ACI code, ACI 318. So it's a minimum reinforcement is 1% and maximum is 8%. So you cannot put less than 1% in uh, reinforcement in column and uh, another way you cannot go more than 8%. Uh, if we talk about IS code, I, as per IS code minimum reinforcement is 0.8% and maximum is 6%. As per common practice, if you have a reinforcement more than 3% in any RC column, so it will be more uneconomical uh, column. Uh, it's better you keep less reinforcement ratio. Uh, if it comes more, then better to increase the column size. Uh, so ideal uh, condition is to keep the reinforcement uh, less than 3%. Now first we will see uh, how to calculate uh, minimum reinforcement and maximum reinforcement. For example, we have our column size 450 by 450. So its uh, gross area is 450 by 450. It will be 202500 mm square. Okay, so when we will talk about minimum reinforcement, like uh, uh, we have a 1% minimum reinforcement and that we need to calculate as 202500 multiplied by 0 0.01. So it will be 202500 by 0.01. It will be 2025 mm scale. So it means this much reinforcement must we need to provide in this column when we are designing as per ACI code. So uh, how to calculate now this is our area but we need to see uh, how much uh, uh, size of bar we can provide for this. Like uh, <clears throat> for example uh, we need to consider 20 mm dia bar. First of all we need to see how much is uh, bar area for 20 so that we will calculate here uh, 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 with formula pi d square by 4 is 3.142 by 20 square by 4 so it will be 3 1 4 mm square uh, cross-sectional area of 20 mm bar so when we are using 20 mm so uh, we need to calculate number of bars that we will calculate like 2025 divided by 314 so it will give us uh, how many bars we need to provide against this so this comes six point Four, four. So <clears throat> since we have a square column, in square columns if we will draw first four bars with stirrups, here it comes 6.4 like uh, first we will complete 6. So this remaining is 0.44. So it means either we need to go for 6 bar, either we need to go for 8 bars. So if we provide uh, 6 bars, 
so it will be less than one so definitely we need to go for eight bars when we use uh, 20 mm bar dia if uh, let's see again to consider 16 mm bar so 2025 16 mm bar area is 202 so then to see how many bars we required for this 202 it's 10 so again in this also uh, to make the symmetry reinforcement for column this condition we need to go again for 12 bars so like this you can distribute uh, bars in your column so when we use a 20, uh, 20 mm bar dia so we get 8 so one bar to provide here and another bar we need to provide here uh, but again uh, as we discussed in our first vlog here this link should be bended like this so our ring will be something like this and to be on more safer side and if we require more uh, share reinforcement links we can add links something like this so this is our perfect arrangement of our column so here uh, we can say these are 8 t 20 bars so these links it depends on how much uh, uh, spacing we provide but mostly we provide at 150 mm and minimum dia of links should be for column should be 10 mm so it's not advisable to provide uh, links reinforcement uh, with lesser than 10 mm dia so this is arrangement of our uh, column so now we will see uh, how much uh, uh, reinforcement we need to provide if we go for maximum eight percent so this will be 202500 multiplied by 0 0.08 16 double zero and if we use again 20 mm bar so 16 to double zero divided by 314 is equal to here 2025 double zero multiplied by 0 0.08 three one four here it comes fifty one point six so it's a huge number of bars which you cannot fit it in this member so and when there will be even when there will be lap so it will be double so that's why as i told you before it's uh, never advisable to provide reinforcement more than three percent so when you keep your uh, limit up to 3%, then, then only you can uh, design any economical uh, section. Otherwise, it will be a very uneconomical section and it will be difficult to fit this reinforcement in, in this section. Hope you guys learn from our vlogs. These are very basic things, but maybe it's uh, informative uh, for you guys. So I will request to share my channel, uh, like it, share it and comment it. Thank you so much.